It's really nice to be here. Boy, it's uh, pretty crowded there, huh? Well, I, they asked me to uh, come to this wonderful little guitar extravaganza you got going on and uh, sit and talk with you for a while and uh, maybe talk about some of the things that uh, I know about that you might be interested in. And uh, so here I am. We have our moderator here. And uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to bring my band. <laughs> but I do have my guitar. And uh, nothing prepared, but uh, it, there are some questions and maybe a little demonstration. I'd be happy to demonstrate some stuff. But uh, I will be back on tour in your country, in this town, I think uh, July... Oh. 22nd. 22nd? I don't know. I just get on the bus, you know? <laughs> it's like, where are we today? Well, we're in Ireland today, Steve. We're in the UK today, and uh, we're in Pittsburgh, so... I'm, I'm very much looking forward to coming here and playing in July. But, uh, all right, so I guess we can get started. Let me just, let me just check this thing, because we haven't uh, had any kind of a check on this. So give me one second. Did you hear that okay? Yeah! All right, hang on. It's so, so professional with me, right? Speak slow, I'm American, I don't understand English. Okay. <laughs> the first one says, do you still get the same buzz from playing guitar that you did when you first started? Do I still get the same buzz from playing the guitar? Well, when I plug it in wrong, I certainly do. <laughs> um, well, of course, you know, when I was a kid, you, if you love the guitar, it's something that's kind of in you from the first time you saw it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I remember the first time I saw a guitar, it felt like Christmas. You know, it's, it was always just the greatest instrument. And uh, I remember seeing people play. I think I was in like second grade, and I was at my school, and a friend of mine was playing it. And I thought, Jesus, he's actually playing the guitar. He has a guitar. And from that, I just felt immediately in love with it. And it's always represented to me sort of uh, you know, a freedom and a liberation. And no matter what uh, I'm going through, no matter what uh, the situation is, whether, you know, there's, uh, you know, we all have issues in our life or whatever, you know, as you know, especially musicians. <laughs> Whenever I see a guitar to this day, I, I feel this, this excitement. It's always represented to me 
you know, the feeling like, it's like every day is Christmas, you know, whenever I see that instrument. And getting to play it too, you know, it's a, it's a personal thing when you play an instrument. You get to express what, you, what you're feeling and what you're thinking, and it doesn't lie, you know. When you're playing an instrument, you have no choice but to be exactly who you are. Okay, the next one I've got here is... This stool doesn't go with my shoes, I'm afraid it'll have to go. <laughs> All right. You ready for the next one? Yeah. Yes, sir. If you had to pick one of your songs that defines your guitar career, which song would it be and why? Hi. <laughs> next. <laughs> Let me think about it. Um, well, that's a tough one because there's a, you know, you you have a lot of different kind of imaginations when you're making music, and some of it's pretty aggressive. You know, uh, I have some songs that are, I guess like the Attitude song, which was my first record, Flexible, is kind of, kind of a seed of some bizarre ideas that uh, have evolved through my career. But then you can take something uh, like Call It Sleep, which was a ballad off of that record, which showed signs of, uh, you know, uh, potential to grow in more of a, uh, a ballad type of way, as a sensitive, tender kind of performance way. So it's hard to pick one song. But, uh, yeah, next question. <laughs> if you, this one apparently says, uh, if you could only take one guitar to the moon, which one would it be? I don't like this question. <laughs> one with an oxygen tank. <laughs> okay, where do you see the guitar start going in the next five years, as opposed to four years or six? Yeah, well, <laughs> see, in four years, it would be very different than in five years. So I can tell you exactly five years, but six years I'm not exactly sure of, so I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, uh, you know, it's funny. Whenever us humans try to project what things are going to be like in the future, we always miss the mark. You know, if you look back at, like, films from the 50s and the 60s, and the 70s, or even the 80s, we have these projections of what the future is going to be like. But inevitably, something always enters the mix that takes us by surprise. You know, the internet. I mean, how would we have suspected that that long ago? And what we expect is going to happen really doesn't. It's usually very, very different than what we expect. So to try to project what is going to happen with you know the, the very narrow field of guitar playing, comparison to the cosmos, <laughs> uh, it's going to be determined by a person that comes along and just kind of marches to the beat of their own drum. You know, that's what always happens. If you look back through history at any great genre that evolved or any trend that came about, it was always a result of one genius, you know, that had no choice but to follow their convictions. And then what happens is they are so clear in their vision, and it usually doesn't have anything to do with what we expect they're gonna do. I mean, like when, when Hendrix, for instance, started to you know, do his thing, it was so alien to what anybody expected would happen. But look what happened. You know, he created a whole you know, um, field and you take even someone like Edward Van Halen, you know, when he came along, he really reinvented the instrument. We couldn't have expected that to happen. So from that, there was all these, you know, uh, seeds that were planted. So as far as what's going to happen in the future, five years, I suspect that what's going to happen is that somebody's going to come along and do something that none of us were expecting. And I don't necessarily think it'll have a lot to do with blazing technique or maybe even the use of equipment or it's, it's something that we just are not aware of, and then we'll have another trend, and then that'll get watered down and tired because it'll be, you know, festooned with placators. <laughs> no. Next question. 